show you how to build a front end to upload a file to a REST API. Let's start. So uh, let's say we have a sample React.js project. If you don't have it, you can go to the GitHub or you can use the Create uh, React app to generate these standards. So let's say I have it already, so I will create a component to upload. So let's say I have a component called upload.jsx. In this component, I will start to write uh, my code, uh, export default, and then uh, class upload extends reacts dot components. Okay, so in this, I will have a random method, and in that random method, I will have the uh, UI so that the uh, user can upload. So in order to upload a file, we need to have an input type file instead of text uh, normally we have. We have a button, so when we click that button, we will upload, right? Okay, there we go. So uh, what we do is we buy this um, on-click event with a, with a function, let's say upload by this. And we need to define this function upload in here. Let's say we want to write a function uh, upload. There we go. And I already have this upload function, so it's a bit long, so I just press it here so that uh, I don't have to write it again. So this is the function upload. Basically, we will use document query selector to get all the files. So this is means that we get all the inputs that have a type file. Okay, so it will return a collection. Then I'll just get the first file with the zero index from that collection. Then I will create an object called form data. So form data is a JavaScript object that will wrap all the contents of a form and we use it in this case to um, to wrap to carry the you know form multibag data that we need when we upload a, a file. So <coughs> uh, we will we, we haven't specified any name or ID for this input but we will append the content of this file we, we associate it with this my file which is the um, the key that we want to uh, send to the API server okay so we need to have a, a API here so we already uh, built this API before so we can use it but I will show you uh, we can um, review it later um, so the method is post and the body remember of the fetch we have a body and this body will pass the form data object and if everything uh, successful we will just uh, get a response and then we can sum up all the uh, all the data we see from the response so now we want to integrate the um, backend into that so I will write a new folder called backend and I assume that you already have this one this one is just for those who don't have it so where we get this backend for uploading file we go to uh, YouTube videos and we will search for uh, my uni plot. So you open this video and this video you go to the script and you have the code that requires. So I copy everything here and then I open my video and it passes there. Let's save it. So everything exactly the same. But remember here the uploader will get the file from the key called my, my file. Okay, so I will run this uh, backend first. I run it by um, by nodes. By run the command. Okay, let me delete everything here so that uh, everything become uh, clean. So app backend and then app but yes. So I start. Let's say that I don't have the motor. Okay, so uh, it's very important that we run npm init and then we generate the bucket JSON and in that one we install the required library. So express and motor. Okay, <clears throat> just wait a second. And once everything is ready, uh, actually <clears throat> we install it in a wrong place. We have to go to the backend actually, and then in that backend we will run the npm init actually, and in there we will run the uh, install like this. Okay. Now let's double check the back end here. Okay, I don't think it will make any changes. Not very important for the front end packet.json. Okay, so once we have the back ends uh, ready, we run nodes app.js. There we go. We have the back ends uh, working already. We can go to the postman to test our API first. 
So in this, I'll select the uh, URL, the post, and in the body, I select form data, and in the key, I'll put uh, my file, and I can choose any image that I have in my in my um, in my local right. I'll run it. I will say uh, error, blaze up, load of file. It's actually um, in this um, folder we have to create the upload folder so that you know our file can be uploaded. So let's go back to the to the postman um, and run it again. And it says we upload a file one more time. So okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to check this one because we need to have a key for the file. Done. Okay. We can go back to the upload folders and we have that you know upload successfully. So we test our API successfully. So what we need to do now is we go back to the uh, front end with the, with the React components called upload. Uh, there's it. Okay, here. So we'll test this one. So we open a new terminal. In that terminal, we'll try to run uh, npm style to start our uh, front end. <coughs> Hit enter. Okay, but it's important that we have to encode this component in our main, in the app.js so we have to do um, upload there we go and now we go to the browsers and then try to to uh, run our front end so just one second I need to open this okay so I go to locals at the this and uh, there will be a problem so we have to go to the console and check to see what is React is not defiled okay uh, when we defile the uh, components, we have to import React, right? So, import React from React, right? Okay, so we don't have to reload it because else it will be reloaded automatically. So, um, so what does it say here is nothing will be done. Ah, okay. So, in the random methods, we have to call what we say return. And that's a very important one, and we wrap every uh, HTML tag into that one. There we go. Okay, we go back and see. okay, there we go. So we have a file where we can select a file that we want to upload. Let's see, we select the home icon PNG and then click upload. So let's say that you know we uh, cannot access it from the different domain because the front end and the back end are in a different domain. So there's a number of ways to do. To fix the problems, uh, we can go back to the Visual Studio Code and, and we include a special library to fix that problem. So I'll go back to this, the, uh, this one and then we'll end the install, uh, save, course. Okay, and when we install that one in here, we just need to, before we use app, we just say app.use uh, course, right? And before that, we have to include course. So we say by course required course. Okay. So we will restart our node app and then we go here and then try to run the upload again. There we go. So it uploads successfully with the response data here. And when we um, uh, we upload successfully, remember we can have we can use the name that you know that we got when we store the file on the upload folder. For example, home icon the PNG. We can uh, always find a way to you know uh, to use that. For example, we store that name in the database. So we can say something like you know um, um, we can easily call uh, that original name and then we can uh, start. So we can. Uh, let's say we have an um, uh, input here, inputs, uh, type, text, and then let's say id, uh, file name, name, file name, and it will be like, you know, value equal to this dot that dot value for example, and in here we have a constructor, Super and then uh, no not super I uh, will super here and then we will initialize the value of this uh, stats this stats equals then we can say that uh, uh, file name 
same node, for example, right? So we use this one to uh, to control the file name here. Okay, and in here instead of you know lock the data, we can uh, do this. We can do this dot set step, and we set that uh, file name will be this dot uh, no will be data dot uh, original name original name for example. Okay, let's try it one more time. So we try to <coughs> select, uh, let's say, start image, and then click uh, upload. See, there we go. So we got this one. We got the name that's put that we receive from the uh, uh, REST API request. So maybe I upload another file. Let's say, uh, quit buttons. Okay, I click upload, and when it's successful, I have the name here, and also in a uh, Upload folder, I have quit and home and so on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more video. I will copy and paste the code here in the video so that you can select and uh, copy it. Thanks for watching. Here.